I'm gonna show you how to create a film burn transition in Adobe After Effects with no plugins at all. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Let's get straight into the video. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a new composition. So right here, I set the duration at eight seconds. However, the transition itself is only gonna be like three to four seconds, but just to give it a little bit of breathing room, we're gonna set it around eight seconds. Everything else should look like this though. Next, we're gonna go to the bottom left here, right click and press new solid. Creating a new solid means we're creating a new background layer. And here you can select the color of it. We're gonna set it as black here and we're gonna press okay. Next, you wanna go over to effects and presets and search up CC burn film and this is going to be the backbone of the effect so you want to drag it onto the black solid next you want to expand the settings go over to effects cc burn film and you want to change the burn setting so you want this transition to start at zero burn and end at 100 meaning it completes the transition so if we press play you can see what happens you'll only be able to see this if you toggle the transparency grid on Otherwise, you'll just see black. So make sure that this button is on and you can change the length of this as well by just dragging it out or dragging it inwards. So the further out you put this keyframe, the faster it goes. And what you could also do is you can have it speed up at certain times. So you can go from like zero to 50 and then make it take longer to complete that full transition. So it starts very quick and then slows down. So once you're done that, we're gonna actually right click and press pre-compose and you wanna move all the attributes into a new composition. So I'm gonna just title this burning effect. Next, we're gonna duplicate this composition. And so you can select on it and press command or control C and command or control V to duplicate it. And now we're gonna search up set matte and we're gonna drag it onto the top video layer here. Essentially what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add a glowing effect within this video layer. And you'll see exactly what I mean after this. So you wanna invert the mat and you wanna select the second video track as reference. So essentially what we're doing is we're copying this bottom video layer and we're copying its alpha channel. So we're basically copying its transparency channel. So if we hide the bottom video layer, it looks exactly the same because we're copying the alpha channel. So you can see that checkered background is the transparent part it lines up exactly with the top video layer. But if we invert the mat and then hide the bottom video layer, you can see the only thing we see is actually what's transparent in this video layer right here. And so we're essentially gonna be applying all the effects here or the inner portion of this effect so that it looks like it's glowing. So what we can do to add some sort of texture is add fractal noise. This just adds a little bit of character to our existing effect. So if I zoom up closely and adjust the contrast and brightness, you can see that it roughens it up a little bit. Next, we're gonna search up hue and saturation and drag it on as well. And you wanna press colorize and boost up the saturation. Now we see something. So the fractal noise might look weird, so you can make it a little bit more subtle if you want. If you wanna add even more color, you can search up tritone and then you can select a color you want. So let's just do red for this example. Lastly, we're gonna create a new adjustment layer and we're gonna apply two effects. So one of it is gonna be glow. We wanna smoothen everything out. So we're gonna drag on glow to the adjustment layer and I'm gonna change the blend mode to screen. You can also add some sort of blur. So we're gonna increase it a little bit. So this just smoothens out the edge a little bit as well. I might also just copy this glow effect and just paste it onto our second video layer here so the color stands out a little bit more. And I might actually hide this tritone because I like it how it's sort of patchy instead of fully red. So we're gonna just hide tritone for this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply this effect onto two videos and I'm gonna show you how to actually apply this transition. So if you don't wanna apply this transition in After Effects, what you wanna do is export this first. So you can go over to export, add to render queue, go over to output module and change the channels to RGB and alpha. But otherwise we're gonna select all of these video clips and pre-compose it and select this option again. So we're gonna type in transition for this. 
And what I'm gonna do is drag in these two video clips and I'm gonna show you how to create the transition. So how you wanna set this up is the first video should be on top of the second video. And you wanna line up the transition with the second video. And you wanna lead it in towards the end of the second clip. And ideally we want the transition to happen sometime here because it's gonna end. So what you wanna do next is search up set mat, drag it onto the first video clip. And we basically wanna copy the alpha channel of the transition. So we wanna basically copy its transparency. So you wanna select number one right here. And now we actually wanna show the transition and change the blend mode to screen. So if I sort of drag my mouse through here, you can see what happens. You can see that there's an abrupt cut right here and that's because this transition is taking a little bit too long. So I'm gonna go back into the burning effect and just change up the keyframe so it's faster. I'm just gonna move everything inwards. And now if we go through here, you can see that video transition happens and there's no abrupt cut. That's because the transition actually finishes before the video clip does. One thing you'll notice is the entire beginning video clip actually doesn't show anything. That's because it's copying the transparency from this video or the transition. And the transition doesn't start until right here. So what you wanna do is click on this video layer and basically split it at this point. So you can press Command Shift D or Control Shift D and just take off set mat right here. And so now if you play it, it should play perfectly fine. You can do the very same thing in Adobe Premiere Pro using the same steps. Before I end off this video, you can check out my burn transitions on my website right now. I created it using the same method I showed you today, except with additional steps. So if you want cool transitions for your music videos and other purposes, you can purchase it now on my website. You can also get over 60% off the entire Adobe Creative Cloud Suite if you check the link in the description. This offer is only available for students. Hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.